Welcome back, everybody, to Tomb Raider 3. I'm Badass Games, and today we are doing Lud's Gate, a very long and painful level. But I'm going to show you guys some tips and some uh, strategy in order to get through this uh, as efficiently as possible. And I'm also going to be doing something a little different to make uh, this walkthrough a more interactive experience for you guys. From now on, my faithful subscribers and viewer comments will forever be embedded in my videos. So anyone who watches these walkthroughs will know just how cool my fan base is. And here is one from Flames Demon. He says, Ah, I was hoping you would rap sing again. This is from my All the Witch video. And, he, and I, I said, Well, uh, yeah, I'm not going to be doing that all the time, though. And he says, How about, Hello, everybody. It's Badass Games. Today I'll be running from All the Witch trains. And I was like, That's pretty good. And so I decided to come up with another one. And here it is. Welcome to Lud's Gate, the stage full of pain. The stage we all hate, the stage I explain. You get the info straight, it's wrecking your brain. We'll see Lara's fate and watch me go insane. Yeah, so there you guys have it. <laughs> Alright, let's get on with this walkthrough. Now this guy, if you notice, he's not attacking me. He actually took me down here and showed me two doorways and I can either go left or right. And the way that I want to go is actually to the, to the left. Uh, because this will take us by a secret, and going the right way would, uh, n we're gonna end up in that place anyway, so. Now, you could slide down here, and then there's a ledge that you could pull yourself up on, but there is actually a way to get through this without taking damage, and I'm gonna show you exactly how to do that. You wanna be just to the, to the right of center on this tile that I'm standing on right now. You don't wanna be all the way to the right, because the wall will get in the way of this little trick. And then what you want to do is you want to slide down and you want to jump at the very end and then veer to the right. And the timing has to be very precise, otherwise you hit your head on the ceiling and you have to climb up anyway. So that's how I do that, and uh, there you go. It's a tip to get through that without taking damage. Now you want to head over here to this dark corner, and you want to fall off here. And then um, you can shimmy to the right, or you can fall off again. But there is barbed wire down here, you gotta be careful. It just happens to not be in the area that I was just standing in. And you can walk through this to the end. And at the end, there's an opening that you can um, climb up. And there you go. Now let's uh, climb out of this. And uh, over here, there is a, a large med pack and some flares, and this is this this first secret. The first secret of the level, and you would have missed this had you gone the other direction, down the right path. Now, to get out of here, you just kind of climb your way out through this, just like any other Tomb Raider experience. You just do a bunch of climbing and hopping, grabbing in the air, sliding, you know, usual stuff. And we're right back where we uh, started. And there's a button here that I just bypassed completely last time when I was here, but we can press it now. And it opened this hatch up above Lara. It's going to allow us to get to the area that we need to go. And that hatch would have been closed if you would have came from the other direction. Don't forget about the large med pack that's here. Over here is the, uh, the way down from the right path. I mean, that's... That's the right path opening right there. So, uh, yeah, that hatch would have been closed and you would not have been able to get that first secret. Okay, so let's continue on. This wall right here is climbable. And so we want to actually climb up on the left side of this. So let's do that. And there's another secret here that we're going to claim. It's behind me pretty much right now. And um, what we want to do is we want to make sure we have the proper footing. We want to make sure that Lara's feet are on that black line there. In this on this red tile, and Lara's hands are on the white line, and then we want to jump and turn around and grab again in the air, and then pull ourselves up. And now when you get to this point, she won't go into that hole, so you got to let go and then pull yourself up. Let go and then grab immediately, so that way she loses her footing. And grab the, the rocket and claim secret number two. Okay, so now that we have that, let's go down a few steps, three and four, and then we can um, jump and then turn around again and then grab this wall and then continue our ascent to the top. And then there's more items here that we need to claim, and they're a little bit further up here. You see this gate right here that has this green light emanating from it? 
from it. We want to uh, put Laura's feet on that black line just above that tile. Okay, and then she won't actually be grabbing the green, the, I mean the white line again, but from here we just do a backflip and hopefully she lands inside of this. If she doesn't land in here, then um, you'll land on the slope platform and then all you gotta do is jump and grab and you'll, you'll safely make it onto this uh, climbable wall again. And then we can shimmy over here to the right and climb ourselves up. And uh, so there's something else I'd like to thank you guys for. I mean, you guys have been really supported, supportive of me, and I appreciate that. You know, I've been checking my YouTube Insight, and it turns out I, there was once, just a few days ago, I got over 2,000 views in one day. And that's quite an accomplish, accomplishment. That's the highest number of views that I've had. And the number of views are climbing, too, so maybe on a regular basis here soon I'll be having 2,000 views in one day. I mean, that's over across all of my videos. Up above me there's a hole that we we will eventually go through, but we want to head down to the end of this and claim some shotgun shells. So, and all, all those views have mostly been on my Tomb Raider 1 videos, which is not good because um, those are my first videos and I, I sound so, you know, new, like depressed. And the reason why I do is because I was trying to have my roommate not hear me because I didn't want him thinking I was talking to myself so I'd talk like this and try to be really quiet and on top of that it was recording over the sound effects my voice was and I wasn't able to control the volume so I couldn't turn myself up and I wasn't able to remove the noise so that's why it's all staticky in those videos but as you can see I've uh, increased the production value of my videos and so they have led to what you get now okay so we pull ourselves up finally into this hole and we get a small med pack. I also got another comment from DS17SE. I don't know how to say that. If I say it wrong, please inform me and let me know how to pronounce your name. This person said, I miss you saying the enemies want to bash your face open or bite your face off. And <laughs> that's because none of these enemies do. These aren't gorillas and tigers and stuff. These are, um, <laughs> these are guys that want to put bullets in me. So uh, there's actually one down here right now. And to take care of him, you just fall out. Guns blazing. Just to get rid of that guy. And sometimes he gets a shot off on me, but he didn't he wasn't able to do that this time. Oh, and then there's another guy right there. You can see him glitching through the wall. Let's take care of this guy. Let's push this button. It's gonna allow him to come in the room. But I'm gonna grab my grenade launcher and make sure that he dies proper. <laughs> Alright. Now that he is gone, let's, I, I, I don't know why I stuck my pistols. Let's just put those away. There's a movable block here on this room. Okay, let's move this. It's, it needs to go on this white tile that's behind me right now. Um, and this is going to actually move a pillar in the other room. And um, it's going to allow us to access that room. So you can hear it move. And I'll show you what that did. It moved this pillar right in front of me right here. You can see the track that it's on right now. So now that that's out of the way, we can come into this room. And there is a small med pack behind these pillars here. Alright, let's get on top of this thing. Can I jump and grab that? No. We need to get up there. And it's not hard, I'm just not finding the right spot to pull myself up on. Okay, and the first thing that we want to do is we actually want to get into this room. There's a movable block in here that we need to put into the right position. And what this is going to do is it's going to raise a monkey bar thing that we can use to get access to a switch that we need to get to. But it also blocks the doorway, so we got to climb out of here this way. And another thing that it does on top of those two things, is it places that movable pillar that was blocking the original doorway and move that back into its original spot. So we can't leave this room except for there is another there is a way you can get out of here, but I haven't find haven't found the necessity to do so, so you won't be seeing me do it. Now let's um climb up to here. And we want to pull this lever here. And this is gonna shut the door to that room that I just came out of. And it's gonna actually let us use that door, use that wall as a ladder, and that's gonna be useful because we need to get up to the top there. 
All right, let's get down from here. Now, what we need to do, you see the, uh, the ceiling there. We can actually jump and grab that. And before we go over there to the right, let's come over here to the left. There is a save crystal in here that we can claim. And there we go. Now let's climb back up, and then we're going to use that other side on the right side to go flip a switch. And that is what that movable block did in the other room, is it raised this monkey bar thing right here. And now we can actually monkey bar away, cross over to here, and pull ourselves up to pull this switch. And this switch is going to open the door that allows us to leave this, this area. So there we go, let's climb out of here. And now we get to climb up through this whole room and finally get out of here. There are a few more drops in here that I will claim. Okay, and now we're here at the top. Well, we gotta get off of this thing first. That was close. Uh, we need to head over here to the to the left. And we're going to go behind that wall that you see right in front of me to get access to that, ex that door that exits the area. But before we do that, there are some uh, shotgun shells right here, and there's also some... F f oh, come on, some flares. Right here. Here they are. As Lara just snaps her save herself into position. Pull ourselves up here, and then um, now we gotta do a little time jump here. We're gonna jump at the very end of the slope, and then grab in the air, and we'll be able to grab this ledge. And now I'm gonna save my game here because I'm gonna show you guys something, but it requires me to uh, go to an area where I won't be able to come back from. And, um... Yeah, I need to be able to go through this way because if go through the proper way because I will be missing some secrets if I don't. So um, right straight ahead of me is some embalming fluid, and if you want, if you really don't care about that, um, if you don't necessarily need it to complete the level, so let me show you something else that I, or what I do want to show you actually. From over here to the left of the embalming fluid, oops, I took some damage. We can slide off here, and we will land. Whoa, I want to jump. Whoops. I went to the wrong side. Oh, well. Um, there are some... There is a rocket here, and um, this is also a shortcut to the end of the level, or to the... near the end of the level. But you skip a bunch of secrets by going this way. Now, let me show you where this is at, where this takes you out at. This uh, corridor is going to suck you down to the end of it, and now... Let's see exactly where we're at. Right here is... There are some harpoons on these... On this platform here. And this is where I'll be coming out at later in the game. Or in the level. So just so you guys know that that's there. That this is a shortcut. Um, that's all I wanted to show you. So now I'm going to reload my game. And I'll see you guys back at that spot with the embalming fluid. Alright, here I am. Back at the embalming fluid. So let's go grab this stuff. And here it is, and this is the embalming fluid that the guy was asking me to grab in the last video. Alright, and now there are some Uzi clips here. And there's also a guy down there that wants to rip Lara's face off. <laughs> uh, whoops, I want to go the other way. But he doesn't really want to, he just wants to shoot some holes into her. Let's uh, climb down here, I'm going to grab my Desert Eagle and take care of this guy proper. Haha! -ha. Take that, fool. And he disappeared. Look at that. Where did he go? Okay, and then there's a crawl space over here in the corner that we need to go through. That hallway that that guy came from leads to two doors that are shut. And we can't go through them just yet. We need to come into here. And then as soon as we get out of here, there's going to be another guy, and he's probably going to get a few shots off on you, but that's okay. If I'd stand up, I'd be able to take him out. 
There we go. Yay! Now there's a switch here that's going to open this door. And this is going to give you access to a rocket. And now that we have that, let's get out of here. We want to fall out of here, like so. And then I want to step to the edge here and look across. There is a save crystal that we're going to use these monkey bars to go get. And I had another comment in my video, my last Aldwich video. I got some lag there. And uh, it was from Tina Von Rotter. She said, I think Lara just screamed because it was her first time using a train. I bet she's never used, seen a train from inside before. She's a spoiledness. <laughs> and uh, Zephyr Sword uh, replied with, she obviously has phobia of badass trains with the Z. <laughs> oh, I lol at that. That was pretty funny. Okay, now that we have that save crystal, we want to get on top of this... Uh, Sphinx thing and what we do to get that do that is we want to get to this tile that I'm on right now It's one tile behind the final tile in this row and make sure you're all to the left because uh, you might take some damage if you Are any over further to the right? Okay now before I actually go claim the next secret I just want to show you guys that there is a rocket right below me if you want to go get that That's up to you. However, once you get to down there to grab it You won't be able to get back up here and you'll miss a secret so, let's not do that. Um, now, the, the secret, if you want to claim it, there is a common way of doing this by jumping down onto a platform down there, and uh, but you'll take a massive amounts of damage. It's probably the easiest way to do it, but um, I'm going to do a different method where I take a lot less damage. The first method that I explained takes away about half your life, whereas the method I'm about to show you only takes about, I don't know, one sixteenth of your life, I guess, maybe? But anyway, what you want to do is you want to step all the way forward and all the way to the left on this tile. And then you want to aim yourself for that platform that's sticking up all by itself there in the distance. And then take a hop back. And now you want to jump forward and turn in the air. And you're going to land on this slope platform. And make sure you grab the edge of that slope platform. Shimmy all the way to the right, pull yourself up, and then jump and turn in the air and veer to the left. And you will land safely on this platform. And now we can go back and claim the small med pack that we missed. And on top of it all, we save a bunch of life. Now, to get over to the, the thing again, this jump, you can either overshoot it or you can undershoot it, depending on how you do it. What I do is I come over here to the all the way to the right, because I'm at the highest point, and then I just do a standing jump over to the platform. I make it just fine, it seems. Sometimes I miss, but okay. Do a running jump over to this platform here. Pull yourself up, and you'll slide. Just jump at any point in time on that slope, and you'll land over here on this ledge. And now we can go over here and claim two rockets, a safe crystal, and the third secret. Yes. And there we go. Now we got to get down from here safely. We don't want to break Lara's neck. I haven't saved it yet. Uh, we want to aim for that that raised platform, which would, would be the Sphinx's shoulder, I suppose. And um, we'll slide off. That's fine. We want to slide all the way to the end here and let go. And we fall all the way to the bottom safely. Now we want to climb up over this paw of the Sphinx. And we want to come down here. Now we want to get the Desert Eagle out again. There's going to be a guy over here that's going to try and shoot Lara. Put a few bullets in him and then walk away. He doesn't drop anything, so we're not missing much. Now there's another guy that's going to be walking down this hallway here. And I'm going to wait for him. He's going to come around and I'm going to deliver some bullets into his chest as soon as he gets here. Now this guy does drop something. He drops a small med pack. So don't forget to pick that up and then head over here to the very end. There are some shotgun shells on a tile. Uh oh, I'm stuck. <laughs> that was weird. Okay. Uh, here's uh, some shotgun shells here. Now let's head up that corridor 
that that guy came from, and I, I suppose this would be the entrance to the museum. It looks like there's a door right here. And some steps that lead down to the Sphinx. Alright, let's pull ourselves up, and then, before we do anything else, let's claim the fourth secret. You can see the opening there in the, in the wall. Just hop and grab and pull yourself up. And then, uh, yeah, there is a rocket and a large med pack in this secret. And yes, now we just gotta back our way out of here. And fall down to the ground. And now we just pull ourselves back up. Now there's a movable block over here to the left. You can see the glitch in the wall. That usually signifies a movable block. Let's pull this out. And the ridges on the side of the block signify a climbable block. So now we can use this to climb to the top. Very, very sneaky, tricky. And now we want to go all the way to the top here. And once we're there, we can go over to the right, and we want to let ourselves down on that platform. Now pull ourselves up here, and uh, this is going to drop us off on the other side of that movable block that I just moved. And what we want to do is we want to push that block. This is not the same block right in front of me. It's actually the, this one here. We want to push this block because we need the room in order to move the other movable block that you just saw. And we need to move this twice this direction. If we move it once, it's going to cover up that hole that I just used to get into this area. But if we move it twice, then we will be able to fall on the other side of this block and we'll be able to see just exactly what it was obstructing. Alright, so let's uh, use this block here and climb our way to the top again. And there we go. Let's get up here and fall off onto the other side of that block. And, uh, yeah, that's going to put us into the, uh, the hideout again. And I'm wondering just exactly where that museum is at. Because, I mean, right over there is the museum, okay, and here's the hideout. Well, how did I get to the hideout? I fell through a hole that was underneath the Aldwych train station. So that means that the natural or the Museum of Natural History is underneath the Aldwych train station right next to a hideout. I don't know, I'm confused as that. I'm not sure. Maybe it is underground, maybe it's not. I don't know to be honest with you. So I just think that's kind of weird. Okay. Now, over here is this uh Egyptian thing in this area and this is where the embalming fluid goes we can place this embalming fluid here and this is gonna open up a door right over here and it's gonna let us get to the end of this level we could fall down here and listen to Lara scream because we like her screaming in agony alright and out here there's going to be an alligator and I'm convinced don't forget to get on your uh, underwater thing, but I'm convinced that the alligators cannot harm you while you're on this thing. So, uh, yeah, that's pretty nice. Come here, guy. And if you're having a hard time aiming with this thing, the best thing to do is to point Lara's head at whatever you want to shoot. It seems like, uh, Lara's head is the aiming reticle. Alright, and over here to the right, there is an air pocket that we can use. And I like the underwater submarine guy thing, but um, he's, he is slightly faster than Lara swimming normally, just by a little bit. But mounting and dismounting from that will take a lot of time away, so... Now over here in this other hole... Let me light a flare. Did I light a flare? Yeah, I dropped it immediately. There are some um, harpoons 
There's two pickups worth of that, and then there's a save crystal. And now over here to the to the left, I'm doing all this in one breath, so I gotta hurry up. There is two more harpoon pickups. And then there is also a large med pack on the center platform there. And now let's go get some air. Yeah, I mean, I like the little submarine vehicle thing because you don't have to reload the harpoons, un unlike the harpoon gun itself. But you have to aim the harpoons, so that's kind of different. Um, and it goes, it's fast, and you don't have to worry about a whole lot of stuff. But one thing I don't like about it is that when you bump into a wall while on it, it will prevent you, it'll stop you immediately, and it's really hard to control because of that. So, yeah. Alright, and there was some Uzi clips in there that I just picked up. Now let's go back in here and get this uh, underwater submarine thing. Get some air, and then um, we want to get out of here. There is one more pickup that I need to grab, and that's uh, a bunch of harpoons. But as soon as we pick that up, it's going to spawn an alligator, and I want to be able to get rid of that alligator. And be well protected, because I'm... Like I said, I'm convinced that they cannot attack you on that thing. So pick those up and then head on back over here and get on it, Lara. Uh-oh, I'm not going to get on it in time. Oh! He took a big chunk out of me. Oh, man. See, look, now he didn't attack me that time. Maybe that's a bug in my game, but I don't know. Just use Lara's head as an aiming reticle and then... Man, I hope uh, <laughs> I hope I have enough life to finish this level. I think I do. I don't think there's too much more required damage. Okay, and then now that we're at this spot, we can get off of the underwater vehicle. And we can pull ourselves up onto the platform that has the two harpoons. So this is where the two paths converge for the shortcut and the normal way that I just took. And uh, once we're here... We need to actually go this way, down this hallway. And there's a couple doors in here. There's one over there to the right, and then there's one above Lara. And you can also see a save crystal and a bunch of other stuff. Another underwater submarine over there in the distance. And that is the sixth secret, which means that I do have another one that I need to claim before that one. But there's also a lever here that's going to open up the hatch. Let me get some air. And then we want to climb into this area here. And pull ourselves up. And you get some music, and you see that there's a couple enemies out there. And, um, yeah. We're going to try not to get seen by those guys, so we're going we're gonna to do some pre-Nevada sneakiness. Some pre-Nevada stealth in this. And that button that I just pressed actually opened up this door back here. Alright, and now what I'm going to do is I'm going to save my game. Because I don't want to get seen by those guys. If I do get seen by them, then they're going to close off the sixth secret. And uh, we don't want that, so I'm going to show you how to get through this without being, being seen and how to do it without uh, closing off that sixth secret. Okay, so we want to stay low in the water, and then we want to come over to here. And we're going to surface right here to get some air. Now be careful, we don't want to be seen by those guys. Over here, there's a little hole that we can go in, and this is the fifth secret. So let's claim the uh, ammo that's here. And then we want to head over to the left. There's another hole here that we can go through, which contains a small med pack, and it also has another lever in this area that we can pull. And it's going to open up another underwater hatch, and we're going to go to that right now. But we got to make sure that we stay low in the water, and we don't get seen by the enemies. And then we can surface safely here, and they won't see us. Now, when we get to here, we actually want to be careful. We want to stay crouched around these boxes, because they are looking off in this direction. 
They are looking in this direction to see if they find anything suspicious. So let's avoid that, and we want to climb down, and we'll fall into the water again. And this is the hatch that we just opened. Now there's a save crystal here that we can get. And then we can climb out of the water here on the other side. Now we want to duck again and crawl our way, because they, uh, they will see us if we stand. And then once we get to here, we're safe, we can stand, and we can run. Alright. Now that we are here, we can climb up into this little area. And over here to the right, there is a crawl space again. Let's go in here, and we want to uh, back out of here. There are some items in here. I believe it's a save crystal and some flares. Save crystal, flares. Okay, now we want to get out of here. Back our way out of here. And now we're going to run down this hallway. And in doing so, we're going to get seen. It's inevitable. We have to get seen. But there's going to be a guy with a gun. Let's take him out really quickly. And then we want to jump down here, and we want to take out this guy in the in the in the frog suit. Where'd he go? There he is. He's dead. Now. And there's a guy over there that we want to take care of. And this guy drops a key. We need this key. It is important. Okay. And I believe I took care of that frog guy before he was actually able to shut off the sixth secret. So let's go over here. Yes, the doors are open, and now we can claim all of the goodies that are in here. A bunch of harpoons. There's like four pickups worth of harpoons. There's a save crystal, and there's a large med pack. So let's get all these harpoons. And this large med pack. Now with all of those items, let's go back out here. Let's leave that underwater submarine behind for now, because there are a bunch of items down here that we need to get. Uh, first of all, over here, there are a bunch of harpoons. It's like three pickups worth of harpoons, I think. And they're arranged pretty neatly, too. So pick those up. That's like nine harpoons right there. And then um, there's a bunch of harpoons in this area. There's some more up here. This is where the frog guy was standing initially. Pick these up, and then we want to fall off backwards here. There's some more harpoons. And that's not all. There are st uh, still three that I can think of in this area. Three more pickups. Uh-oh. Get up there, Lara. I try to be all fancy and everything. Look what it led to. A waste of time. Okay, let's duck underneath here and uh, climb down here. There's a small med pack. And a boob shot. Pretty common in these games. You can tell that this game was designed by a guy. Alright. And now, we want to hop up to here and run to the end, there is some more harpoons. And now we want to get off safely. And there's one more pickup that I'm missing, it's a large med pack. Whoops. That works, I guess. And it's over here. A large med pack. Now that we have all the items in this area, I believe that's all of them. I can't think of anything else that's in here. I'm pretty sure. There's just a lot of pickups. So. Dang it. I didn't want to fall in the water again. Climb out here. Can I get 
Over there? Yeah, I can get up over here. And now let's go get that underwater submarine harpoon gunner thing. I, I like the I like the harpoon thing on it. I do enjoy that. I don't have to. And you can you get to aim with it. I mean it's not automatic aiming like all the other weapons. Sort of unfortunate, but I don't know, it kinda adds a little bit of a you know, you get to swim fast and Yeah, but I don't like the abrupt stopping when you bump into something. Okay, so we want to head down here. And now we they're gonna find a harpooner that's gonna be shooting at Lara. Wanna take him out. Man, I'm losing a lot of life. Between that alligator taking a huge chomp out of me. And there's also an alligator in here also. So let's take him out. I'm sh missing like crazy. Why are you missing? Lara, you suck. You're using Lara's head as a as a targeting reticle. We're able to take him out. Now let's swim up here before I run out of breath. <sighs> okay. Whoops, I didn't mean to dismount from that thing just yet. I need to get a full breath of air. Now, I'm actually not going to use that underwater machine because mounting and dismounting takes time, and time is of the essence. So, let's go down here, and uh, let's get some items. There is a large med pack right here, and straight across from that, there is a save crystal. So now that we have those, those are the only items that are in here, except for a small med pack that's near a lever that's, that I'm going to have to pull. But I'll show that to you here in a little bit. Let's get a full breath of air, and then let's go pull our first lever in this area. Alright, we don't need the underwater vehicle because we don't need to kill anything. I'm going to head over here to the... Oops, I want to go down. Underneath that. There's a lever in here that's going to open up a door. And now that that door is open, let's swim back and get some air. Now this next one is uh, going to take a long time for me to do. Or, you, yeah. It takes a long time, and I prefer to do it without the the underwater submarine because, like I said, it takes time to mount and dismount from that. And we do need to pull another lever, which means we do have to dismount. So this is what we do. We dive down in here. Got to be quick. And we go over here to the left, but on top. And then we go into here and we follow this corridor. And now we must swim down and then swim out again a little bit. And there's a door here, and then inside of here there's a small med pack that we can grab, and a lever that we need to pull. That's going to open up that door. Oh, turn around, Lara. Go, go, go. I gotta get back to that air pocket thing before I run out of air. Go, go, go. Starting to blink. I, I think I got it. Okay, so over here, this is the uh, air pocket. And now that I have that lever pulled, I'm actually going to get on the up underwater submarine. And um, head down, and I need this because I will have to fight enemies on the way back. There's going to be two harpooners that are going to spawn after I pull the lever that's in this room right here, straight across from the air pocket. Um, now we want to park this thing in a spot where we can easily get onto it and get out of here. We still gotta hurry up because there are... I am timed. I do have my breath that I am timed by. Pull this lever and then it's gonna open a hatch and then spawn two, submar uh, two harpoon guys. Let's get on this uh, thing. Get on it, get on it, get on it. There we go. I'm on it. Now, there's a harpoon guy straight ahead. Just destroy him and then uh, go, go, go. If you have a hard time aiming at him, don't worry about it. Just head straight for the air pocket. Let's take this guy out too. And now let's go get some air. That was tense. 
I think I tensed all the muscles in my body when I was trying to do that. Okay, now that I have a full breath of air, let's take this thing, and what that lever did also is it opened up a hatch that is down this corridor here. So we want to go underneath, and then we want to swim. Oh, come on. See, that's one reason why I hate this underwater thing. Is if you get hit by a wall, it slows you down entirely. And we want to swim all the way up to the top here. And there we go. Now let's get off of this thing. And head on over to here. And we can climb out right here. And you see the fire in front of me. I'm going to actually turn those off here in a second. But before I do that, I'm going to come over here and claim some harpoons that are in the corner. And then there's a lever here. This lever is going to turn off those flames. And then we can use those platforms that those flames were on in order to continue on in through this area. So hop up onto here and then do a run and jump over to here. Now over here to the left there are a couple items that you can pick up. There's a large med pack and some Uzi clips. So get those and then uh, you just go ahead and slide off down this slope right here. It'll put you right back onto the platform that you were just on. And then we do a run and jump over to this area here, and this is going to activate these plungers. They're going to try and pound Lara. Pound her as, pound her as in crush her, not... No, you guys, no, you guys are perverts. Just shut up, okay? And, uh, yeah, just time yourself. It goes down and up. And then down and up. Oh my goodness. Down and up. There we go. And yay, we end up on the other side of those things. And I usually fail on those. I'm surprised I didn't this time. Okay. Well, not like fail, fail, but I usually take away life. They don't kill you instantly, which is nice. There is some uh, monkey bar stuff right here. We can run and jump and grab those. And you'll see this opening there on the, the left of Lara. We will go there here in a little bit, but we actually want to come over here. There are some more items that we can claim. You fall off here and then fall off over here. There's uh, some desert eagle clips and a box of flares. Pull ourselves up and then we're going to use those uh, those monkey bars again to get over to that hole. Once we get to the edge here, we can let go and grab and pull ourselves up. And then back our way out of this crawl space. And then that key that we got from the other guy goes in this hole. And it's going to open up the room to the boiler room. Smallest boiler room I've ever seen, though. It's only like two tiles. But it has a button in it. So let's press that button, and that's going to open up the final door in the area, in that swimming area, and I'll show you exactly how to get to that. Alright, some more crawl space stuff. Back out, and then slide down and into the water. Now, that also spawned an alligator that's down there. Let me get a full breath of air, and then I'm going to head down there. And, um, honestly, you could take them out if you want, but I you're pressed for time right now because even the underwater submarine just does not have the speed to get there almost does not have the speed to get there in one breath so I'm oh come on quit getting caught on stuff go 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 there's the alligator there and he can't really like I said I don't think they can harm you when you're on this thing so it's pointless to even worry about it now from here we want to go straight across and we want to come over to this corridor, go through this door, and head straight up. Now, if you want to kill the alligator, you can do that. 
um, but you really don't have a whole lot of time. Um, it, or you can go back and uh, get your air from somewhere else. All right, now we're done with that thing. We don't ever have to see that thing again. There is a large med pack on this ledge here, though. And now we got to go through this uh, little trap here. And uh, make sure you're all the way to the left. And then just uh, stand at the edge. And once you see that thing swing back, hop and then roll. And then grab the edge and then pull yourself up. And you should be completely safe from that. It shouldn't be able to touch you. And then from here, just hop and grab in the air. Shimmy all the way to the left, pull yourself up, and then you're safe. And then time yourself a running jump over to this platform here and then hop into this corridor. Now, there is a guy at the end of this corridor that you can go kill if you would like. However, I'm just going to bypass him because I don't think he drops anything. Maybe he does, and I could be wrong, but I'm pretty sure. If you want to go kill him and find out, that's up to you. Yeah, I'll just go kill him just to make sure. Screw it. I don't understand. This is a walkthrough. Let's pull out the Desert Eagle and lay some waste to his chest. And, uh, yeah, it doesn't look like he dropped anything. Okay. Sweet. Now you know. Pull yourself up here. This is the proper way to go. The other way will lead to your death if you decide to keep going. Alright. Slide down here. And pull yourself up to here. And this is going to take us to an opening. Whoa, that was close. I'm going to get rid of this flare because, uh, yeah. We need to run and jump and grab that slit that's in the wall there. And then fall and grab this so we can pull ourselves up. And now we just crawl through here, and we're so close to the end of the level. This video is a long video. Alright, stand up. Now make sure you don't fall, because this well, that will kill you. This is a long fall down there to the bottom. You want to run and jump for that red light and pull yourself up. And then shimmy over here to the left. And then we gotta back we gotta back up and let ourselves down. And then pull ourselves up here. Slide down and uh, we're gonna get to another crawl space and you're gonna get a camera angle. Cause they don't want you to see what's ahead. Absolutely nothing. It's like a dead end straight ahead, so but that's the end of the level, guys, and we're going to get a cutscene and then some stats. Ah, Miss Croft. I take it you're ready to sign on. To what? Well, my books. You see, with your lifestyle, you'd be the perfect campaign for my products. But just think, you wouldn't be needing those unsightly weapons anymore. No, but I'll probably have an unsightly face, judging by your past experiments. My what? Oh yes, they're all still alive. Very much so, in fact. All I want is the artifact. <laughs> right, in your next life. We'll see. All right, guys, there you have it. That is Lud's Gate, and uh, as you can see, I got all the secrets, and I still haven't used the med pack. Now, um, if... Uh, like I said, if you guys want to uh, end up in my videos, if your comment wants to be put in my videos, then make sure that you come up with something interesting or funny, or ask a question I'll answer that I can answer in a video, and um, I'll post it. I'll be happy to post it in my video. I think I'm going to do three comments per video. So, yeah, there you guys have it. I'm Badass Games. You guys are watching Tomb Raider 3. I will see you in the next video. Take it easy.